I'm Cheyenne from Southeast. I'm a sophomore there. <laughs> and this is our last name. Our last name holds me captive, as if I am its prisoner. I can't run or hide from it. It's always going to be attached to me like ball and chain. Our last name is a constant reminder of who I came from and what I don't want to be. It is like a broken home I'm trying to run away from, but no matter what, it always finds me. Our last name is like a snake wrapping around my throat until I feel the world fading, its scales imprinting into my neck going deeper and deeper. I wish I could just wash you out like the dirt on my jeans, but no matter how hard I try, you're still stained within me. All my mannerisms and favorite things have become nothing but the shadows of you. I write like you, pencil stabbing the paper, harsh and messy, as if you personally ingrained each letter into my soul, only for it to become an homage to you every time I write, H-A-L-D-E-M-A-N, Haldeman. Our last name is like a rose. It used to be so vibrant and full of life, but I've seemed to have found the thorns. And the thorns aren't even the worst part. The worst part is the roots that you have grown within me. I want to do nothing but tear myself apart and dig those roots out. Just forget what was once there. But how can I forget when every time something reminds me of you, I can't help but think, what if I end up like you? You who turns the color blue from dazzling skies to bud light cans. You who turns peaceful days into alarming nights. You who screams like a crow so angry and dark. But worst of all, you who turns names from sweet to detrimental. How am I supposed to live when whenever I see a honeysuckle, I think of the time you took me camping just so you could drink without my mother knowing? How am I supposed to breathe when whenever I see a red pickup truck, I have a panic attack and fear it is you? How is my heart supposed to beat when I see a happy child with a happy family and a happy father? How can I not be jealous of that? Am I allowed to be jealous of that? Am I allowed to hate you but miss you at the same time? Those feelings have become harder and harder to distinguish as if they're emerging into one. The lines that separate them blurring more and more as days pass. Young girls should rely and trust their fathers, but how am I supposed to do that when you're the reason I got a lock on my door? You're the reason I'm scared of physical contact after so many years of being terrified you'd do something to me. You're the reason I stopped enjoying my flute because you passed out drunk at every one of my concerts. You know, that does something to a kid, knowing that their father cares more about his next drink than his daughter's first band concert, or her safety, or even her innocence. Innocence, the only word I can think of that can be ripped from someone's hands. I was ripped of that the first time I thought to barricade my door with my Peter Abbott toy box. Or the first time I hid in my closet under the shelves trying to quiet the voices breaking down the walls. No matter how much therapy I go to or how many meds I take, I can't seem to rid myself of you. I will forever have the scars from the knives you ever so delicately embedded into my back. The knives that are unknown to the world but will forever be painful for me. Our last name is comforting yet damaging at the same time, and it leaves me to wonder, am I comforted by the damage or am I damaged by the comfort?